What is going on, everyone? The Houston Texans just defeated the Arizona Cardinals 21-16. to This was a closer game than what we thought it was going to be. The Texan offense scoreless in the second half and three interceptions from phenom rookie quarterback C.J. Shroud. It was the Houston Texans defense that rose to the occasion and won this game for the Texans. Now you are 6-4, and four, a position that no one thought you were going to be in. Remember, this time last year, the season was already over. Looking ahead to next week against the Jacksonville Jaguars, you might be fighting for the AFC South Jacksonville, number one in the AFC South standings, Houston Texans number two. You already have a victory over them. Let's go ahead. And claim the AFC South next week against Jacksonville. This was a huge win for the Houston Texans. A tough win. And welcome everyone to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host Ruben Calavillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content. Win, lose, or draw. So make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. For the latest news, rumors, and updates. And if you guys are new here to the channel, welcome. We just hit 8,000 subscribers. Trying to hit 9K by weeks 11 or 12. Please help me get there. And thank y'all so much if you were part of today's live stream. If you saw me do the post-game show on Bleach Report, it means the absolute world to me. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Houston Texans performance. Now starting with the offense. This was the first time we saw CJ Shout struggle all year. He threw... Three interceptions. All three came when the Houston Texans were marching down the field and scoring. One in the end zone, he tried to target Nico Collins. A little underthrown, gets intercepted. Throws it to Robert Woods, goes off his hands, falls into the linebacker 51. He takes it back almost 40 yards in the red zone. And then the last one, C. Drisha just threw it up looking for Tank Dow, gets intercepted. I mean, just a tough day for rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud. But still, the Houston Texans find a way to prevail. Now, I see a lot of comments saying, oh, those three interceptions should take C.J. Shaw out of the MVP race. My comment to that is, who cares? This is a rookie. At the end of the day, C.J. Stroud, it's okay for him to throw interceptions. It's okay for him to have three INTs in a game. That's what you are expecting from a player who just got out of college football. We are have been spoiled by what we saw so far from CJ Stroud. He is allowed to have bad games, bad plays. But what's crazy still 336 yards, two touchdowns. I mean that touchdown to Tank Dell was insane. A huge moment, a big time play quarterback one wide receiver one for the next 10 years cj shot is going to be just fine he is a player that has shown when he makes a mistake he usually doesn't make it again and i can almost guarantee you he does not throw an interception next week the russian attack very good Devin Singletary, 22 rushes 112 yards 5.1 yards on the ground one touchdown i mean Devin singletary has put the conversation to bed he should be the starting running back for the Houston Texans going for the remainder of the season. Back to back, 100 yards, and the offense just looked better when Devin Singletary is running the football. I expect more games, good games, from Devin Singletary. The receiving attack tanked out. A wide receiver one type of day, a superstar type of day. Eight catchers, 149 yards, one touchdown. I mean, Tank Dell, we are talking about one of the biggest steals of the draft in the third round. The story of C.J. Stroud telling the Houston Texans to draft them. I mean, it gets sweeter every time you hear it. Nico Collins, seven catches, 65 yards. 
Robert Woods, five catches, 44 yards. Dalton Schultz, only two catches, 32 yards. However, one touchdown, another touchdown, five on the year, continues to build that strong connection with C.J. Stroud. You need to already extend Dalton Schultz. He has bought out all year. I mean, the best tight end play we've seen since Owen Daniels. And that shout-out to C.J. Fedoritz. Shout-out to Ryan Griffin, Jordan Thomas, Jordan Akins, uh, Kahale wearing, but Dawson Schultz is like that. As much praise as I am giving the offense, zero points in the second half. I mean, most of that is is due to CJ Stroud throwing the INTs. But credit to the Arizona Cardinals for having a game plan in the second half because the Houston Texans offense were just having their way with them. They made the adjustments and our offense struggled. And like I mentioned in the intro, it came down to this Houston Texans defense winning the game for you. Kyler Murray, 214 yards, one touchdown, one INT on the ground, almost 50 yards, another touchdown. Kyler Murray is a weapon, ladies and gentlemen. There was a reason why he was the number one overall pick in the draft. And I said it in the po- in, in the pregame. I felt like this game was going to be close because now Kyler Murray returned. Your number one overall pick, the leader of your football team, who led a game-winning drive last week against the Atlanta Falcons. I mean, the vibes were up in Arizona, so I'm happy to see that the Houston Texans defense not really kept them in check, but Ben Don't Break here was the story today. Will Anderson Jr., his third sack of the year, I told y'all to relax about Will Anderson Jr. He is worth everything that we traded up to go and get him. And I promise you in years to come, he is going to put these silly conversations to bed. Blake Cashman, 19 total tackles, one tackle for loss, one sack. This dude might win AFC uh, Defensive Player of the Week again. Derek Stingley, maybe the best game of his career. Two pass breakups, an INT, go up and get it. I am better than their wide receiver. Derek uh, Derek Stingley had himself a fantastic game. Steven Nelson, the big pass breakup to win the game for the Houston Texans. The swarm mentality was on full display. And this is without your captain, Jimmy Ward. This is what your other captain, Jalen Peter, just missing tackles left and right. Overall, this took a full performance, even from your special teams. The punt that hit the elbow of the Arizona Cardinals player. I mean, yes, we did give the ball right back because of an INT. But it just goes to show that all three phases of this football team are working right now for the Houston Texans. This was a gritty win, a hard fart win. And a win that we are going to talk about at the end of the year was, man, that was a, you know, that was a grind. But ladies and gentlemen, the Houston Texans are six and four. We find ourselves fighting for the AFC South next week. For more Houston Texans content, y'all feel free to follow me. Go H-Town. Y'all have a very blessed day.